And here are three lessons on how to get more power on your serve. Now, it all starts with a good toss, which is why I suggest you watch the video I'm gonna link in the description below on a power toss that's gonna help you set up all of the three lessons in this video. So I highly suggest that you watch that first, but if you're gonna watch this video first, go ahead and watch that video next. Now, the first lesson is about the coiling and the loading. And a few things we wanna highlight here is this. You wanna begin going down as that ball goes up. So as that ball goes up, you wanna begin going down. More specifically, look at when that ball leaves his hand and look at what his knees start doing. So once that ball leaves his hand, he's beginning to start bending his knees. Now, once we get to a later part in the loading position, you can see how his body is ever so slightly coiled away from the court. The more you coil and load, meaning the more body you use, the more body you load with, the more you're able to unload and explode into that serve to get more power. The true way to get more power on your serve is to use less arm and more body. But so just take a look at this. So take a look at where the ball is peaking. So because that's exactly when we want to start our explosion upwards, which is actually lesson number two here. Oh, sorry, wrong line. So take a look at where the ball is. So when we're in our max loading position, the ball is at its peak, which means once the ball begins to drop, once the ball's dropping, we want to explode up and out. And as you can see, Felix is exploding upwards from under that line as that ball begins to drop. So lesson number one, load, meaning more leg bend and coil away from the, uh, from the court ever so slightly. And then lesson number two, explode when that ball begins to drop. So when that ball is dropping, you want to explode upwards. And again, the entire idea here is use more body to get more power. So the more you explode upwards, the idea is get the power from your legs, into your hips, into your shoulder, into that shot eventually. So just take a look at first, his legs are pushing up. As you notice, his shoulder is coming up ever so slightly, but his shoulder is kind of still below his other shoulder. Just take a look at this. So at the very beginning, his right shoulder actually stays below his left shoulder for a little bit because he pushes with his legs first. Then, into the rest of his body, and now his shoulder is beginning to go upwards. So if also, if you wanna get more power, as your dominant shoulder goes up, your non-dominant arm should go down. So the faster you tuck your tossing arm down, the more power you're gonna get because the, the faster it goes down, the faster your dominant arm can go up. So as we begin to explode, now we translate that into, into the shoulder. So see, once we kind of extend our legs a little bit, now we translate that power into that shoulder, and then it's going to go into the arm, and then it's going to go into that shot. So watch, now our ex shoulder reaches extension. Now we're going to be able to pronate with our forearm into that serve. So from the legs, into the body, into the shoulder, into the arm, into that ball. So as you can see, the arm was actually the last part that helped us generate any power. So use more body, explode more with the legs, into the shoulder, then eventually into the arm. Which brings us into the third lesson. Now before I mention that third lesson, go ahead and smash the like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos on my channel to help you level up your game. Now lesson number three, and it's really hard to tell in this, from this angle, but that's why exactly you should be watching that tossing video because it highlights this part even more, and that is that contact point. Now, you want your contact point to be slightly, or you want it to be above your dominant shoulder or slightly to the right if you're righty or slightly to the left if you're a lefty. The reason for this is, and this is the most common mistake that I see, players' contact point is often too far to the right or too far to the left. The further off this line your contact point is, the more you're gonna compensate with your arm. And the more you compensate with your arm, the more power you lose. So keep it above your right shoulder because it helps you with this part. So just take a look at this extension. So once we reach, the, we, we reach that extension, we want to be able to swing through that ball, up through that ball to contact. If it's too far out to the right or to the left, we're going to compensate and we're going to make our arm do a whole lot more work. So keep it, keep it above your dominant shoulder if you can or only slightly off that line. The next part, and this is the really tough part to tell, your contact point should be out in front inside the baseline. Meaning the more it is out in front, the more power you're able to transfer through that toss into the shot and the more power you're gonna get. So that's why again, watch the tossing video. It's gonna explain the contact point even better. So go ahead and check that out right now. Or check out this video to improve your timing on the serve or this video to check out that toss.